Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel, What My Lens Sees. Always happy to have you here, and today I'm sitting in my car because it's minus three degrees out and I'm stupid enough to go fishing. But we are at one of the most famous places in all of Colorado. It is the famous Toilet Bowl located on the frying pan river and it is known for monster trout i pulled into the parking lot i got it all to myself because i'm the only one crazy enough to get out here in these kind of conditions but i'm hoping it pays off so hang with me and let's go see if we can't put some fish in the net talk soon so normally i get all my camera gear out but uh i'm gonna forego that until it warms up a little bit uh, this is the toilet bowl right over there and right where it flows out is a beautiful run with a deep run and just a lot of fish hanging out there. Well, that's where I'm going to go. Here we go, big fish. Oh, there we go. Cast in, baby. Day one, out on the pan, no complaints. Froze my butt off, caught a lot of fish, and ended with a big old rainbow. Happy to have caught him. That's my first big guy here, and he put up a heck of a fight. I'm tired. Gonna go sit in some hot springs with the family. We'll be back here bright and early again tomorrow morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning, everyone. Back at it again today, day number two on the Frying Pan River at the famous Toilet Bowl. Yesterday was awesome. Only problem is I got a little bit of frostbite on my fingertips, but uh, what can you expect, I guess? Uh, it was like minus five degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, got a little improvement today. It is currently minus one. I'm gonna wait for the sun to come up over the mountains over there and uh, hopefully time it where it's just a little bit warmer than when I started yesterday. So uh, thanks for hanging with me. Well, let's see if we can't put a few nice fish in the net and then get back for a nice New Year's Eve celebration to close out 2019. We'll see you here soon. Got a good one on here. That's a nice rainbow there. Let me see if I can pull them over to you. That's a good one. Yeah. Can you make a stab at him from there? There you go. <laughs> yes. So day two was awesome. Caught some huge fish and uh, just had a blast up there. It was only up for like two or three hours. 
and then decided to come on back. And uh, when I took off my gloves, I realized man, my thumb doesn't look so good from that frostbite yesterday. So I made a, phone, a few phone calls and uh, got into a doctor's office here in Basalt. Gonna get it checked out, uh, just to make sure everything's cool. I've never had severe frostbite before. So uh, hope everything's good. Hope it doesn't get in the way of the skiing and the fishing. And uh, yeah, that's it for day two. We'll check in with you again here soon. Not exactly where I was expecting to spend the afternoon, but uh, let's hope for some good news.
So I wanted to give you just a couple tips on what I think is important when fishing the toilet bowl. Um, number one is you gotta get the flies deep. Um, I think the toilet bowl is anywhere from, I don't know, 10 to 30 feet deep. So a lot of the trout are hanging out at the very bottom and it's really important that you put a lot of weight on there to get those flies down deep where the majority of the fish are hanging out. Um, I used on my rig a big streamer, uh, a sculpin, I think it was called a Sculptzilla streamer, um, with a big bead head to get, uh, basically to use that as a weight. Um, and then of course behind that I had a couple different types of micey shrimp, which it seems like that is what the fish are keyed in on um, this, this time of year. Next tip is there's really probably three or four spots within the toilet bowl proper that uh, are the choice spots this time of year. The flows are pretty low and I, I want to say around 85 CFS and because of that the trout are hanging out really in one area and that is that outflow so it's, it's basically the water running out from the dam. It's the swift water and you can see the foam line that kind of its way out the uh, out the dam and then um, into the, the bigger body of water if you want to call it that that's where the fish are hanging out get low get in that foam line and you're bound to get a lot of fish and these tips again are just for the actual toilet bowl I watched a guide and um, his client just downstream of where I was um, outside of the proper toilet bowl put a massive fish in the net. So I think there's plenty of other great spots to fish along the frying pan um, besides the toilet bowl. So just keep in mind, if you don't get those three or four spots right by the outflow, there's still a million other places you can fish and catch some nice fish. So my third and final tip is just to stay warm. Uh, the winters in Colorado can get really cold. The day I started, it was minus five degrees Fahrenheit. That is cold weather. Uh, I was bundled up, I wasn't irresponsible. I had gloves on, it didn't matter. Um, unfortunately, my thumb, which you can probably see right there, um, got some pretty bad frostbite. Uh, you can see the distinct line there between sort of a, the living skin and uh, what has died and uh, you know I'm, I'm not out of the woods yet I don't know what's gonna happen with it uh, it was a pretty severe frostbite I went to the doctor they said look you're gonna have to give it a couple weeks uh, if it gets infected you need to go to the doctor immediately and so I'm just kind of taking a wait-and-see approach I hope it will sort of resolve itself on its own if not, I'll be going to the hand specialist and uh, maybe possibly a surgery. So hopefully that's not the case. Uh, I'm hopeful it's gonna fix itself on its own, but just stay warm out there. Um, I caught some big fish, so I'd love to say it's worth it, but if I have to deal with uh, surgeries and stuff like that, then um, yeah, probably not a good call. So anyways, those are my three tips. Get those flies really deep, find those choice spots, and in the winter, be sure to stay warm so you're not dealing with crap like this. Hey guys, thanks as always for being here with me. Uh, I always appreciate your support. If you've enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please like, comment, and of course hit that subscribe button. Until next time, take care.